when someone gets on your last nerve and you ran out of patience and the person replies, this is because of shaitan, how do you respond? Uh, you don't respond. When somebody gets on your last nerve and you explode, first of all, you shouldn't have been in that position. You should allow, you know, a lot of times we confuse bottling things up with patience. Uh, when you just stay quiet and don't say anything, that doesn't mean you're being patient. Uh, patience actually means that you are, you're, can remain calm, but when you're being offended or something wrong is being said, you can respectfully speak out and say that's not true or that's not acceptable. That's not losing patience. And if you did come to the point where you had to snap and somebody took advantage of that and called you shaitan or that's because of shaitan, you know what? Maybe they're right. And you know what? If that, at that point, you don't really have any point in continuing the conversation, what are you going to get out of it? No, it's not shaitan. What are you going to do? Those, kind, those are the kinds of situations where you say, Salaman, peace, I'm out, we can't have this conversation anymore. Inshallah, we'll talk another time. Any, any situation you're in where you're losing your calm, you should try to avoid. And if it's getting to that point, you should actually let the other know that they're being offensive. Or they're, you know, they're hurting your feelings. It's as simple as that. And you know, uh, when, when you think staying silent or not saying anything is the same as patience, that's your mistake. It's not anybody else's. Human beings can't keep bo things bottled up. They can't. It's the way in which you express your frustration, that's patience. You can express your frustration calmly and say this is unacceptable, or you can explode like you do. The person who asks this question. That's a lack of patience actually. So I pray that Allah gives us the strength to communicate our sentiments with respect, with love, with courtesy. And at the same time not to, you know, uh, not to fall into this extreme of anger as a result of bottling things up. That certainly, yes, anger does come from the shaitan. You know, what the other person is doing is also pretty evil, but you're no less if, you're, if you allow yourself to get overwhelmed with anger. May Allah Azza protect us from anger and cer certainly protect us from his anger. Barakallahu li wa lakum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.